look at how the death of children is reported in the, in the Western media, usually it is the picture of the kids on their funeral day, covered or wrapped up with a flag of one of the political, uh, political parties in Gaza, Hamas or Fatah or even the Palestinian flag. So usually this humanitarian part is taken out of the victims when they're Palestinians. And I would echo what was said here, that if the Palestinians gave up and became part of a one state, but yet that one state didn't recognize them as equals, didn't empower them or protect them, they would actually have lost rather than gained. All we aspire is to be free, is to be equal. Is that too much to ask for? Everybody will say no. But why is it happen? Is it not happening? And it is for us Israelis, and here we need the international community. It is for us to change entirely the formula of the game from the game of power where the Israeli government has no match into a game of policy based on moral grounds. I and my colleagues in Parliament will try and make sure that that call to action is taken forward using all of the procedures that are available to us to try and raise this issue upon and put pressure on the British government to live up to its historic responsibilities and to play a role in the international debate, in fact to lead the international debate now that the Americans have decided to absent themselves from it, to lead the international debate about resolving the situation. We cannot allow ourselves to be satisfied with the status quo or distracted by things that are less important. Because this is not just about ideas, this is not about policies, this is not about history, it's not about maps. It's about people.